The holy teachings of cloister divinity. Number one, strength is for personal growth, not competition. Hiya! The holy teachings of cloister divinity. Number two, use no more than 30 centimeters of toilet paper at a time. Hiya! The holy teachings of cloister divinity. Number three, only one extra helping of food per day. Ha! Ya! No, number four, always brush your teeth before bed. Ha! Ya! And number five, Chew each mouthful of food at least 30 times. Ha! Yeah! A, a weird blend of seriousness and <laughs> not. I mean, yeah, some people do chew their food at least 30 times, but I ain't got bloody time for that. With a yo ho ho, it's me. <laughs> what's going on over there? Celia, what's. Shh, listen! Here goes my super ultra hyper miracle shot. I young yeah one more try. Oh yeah blah blah Is that Banyan? He's been at it for a while. He's tried to do that move about a hundred times. One more try, I'll get it this time. Oh yeah He's useless. Has he ever actually played football? Oi! I heard that! Oh, it's you lot! Can't take the mickey out of me, have ya? Why do you always have to be like that? We aren't here to make fun of you! Calm down, both of you! Why are you practicing out here, Banyan? Because <laughs> I have to! They won't let me practice on the pitch, will they? Oh, that's us. You're on the team, mate. So you're out here all alone. That was the line. It didn't say anything else. <laughs> Wait, you're too close to the ball. You need to give yourself more of a run up. Shut up! I know what I'm doing. You and your big mouth broke my concentration, that's all. Well, this guy is just insulting. Why are we still talking to him? Oh, you're never gonna get it right. See, he can't even play football. Let's just go find someone else. You said he'd try that move about a hundred times. Did you mean that literally? Because he's not even out of breath. You're right, but... Yeah, now that you mention it, he hasn't gotten any slower the whole time he's been practicing. Yeah, yeah, we've already worked on stamina. Like, literally on the top screen there, there's a lightning bolt, which allows you to enhance your stamina. Don't need to be messing around with this guy. What are you on about? I don't think your team has realised your true potential. If they see you in action, I think they might let you play football with them, even though they never play football ever. suppose they do play it, to be fair, but just as a training thing. They don't do matches and he's still, you know, on the bench, so you can't be doing very much. Sorry, Mark. Once she gets an idea in her head, there's no stopping her. Even though, literally, like, yeah, you lived with her until she was, like, five. But then, you know, you got adopted and you didn't see her for years. You can stop acting like you know her so well. Anyway, let's talk to Crane, because we've got to stick up for this stupid Banyan kid who's bloody made us fall into pitfalls and insulted us and somehow we want to help him. You will not set foot on the pitch, not even for practice. I mean, yeah, that is harsh, to be fair, get back to cleaning. See, I told you they'd never let me play. Whoa, I'm running off. Captain, you're so stubborn. Just, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let him get on the pitch and then we'll run off. Where are you going, back to your practice? Where do you think I'm going? I'm going to get back at them. Day in, day out, morning, noon and night. All they ever do is make me clean. I'll show them what happens to people who take the mickey out of Scott Banyan. I don't know if take the mickey is just a British phrase, but I've never heard an American say it, so just another plus point of this game being dubbed in Europe. I'm going to get my own back on everyone who's made me look stupid. And there's nothing you can do about it. Get your own back? How are your stupid little pranks going to help you do that? 
The way to get your own back is by showing everyone what you can do. You're part of the team, aren't you? Come on, practice with us. Work on your skills and you'll really have something to show the others. I'll help. Because after all, you're really involved with the team. You're just here to write news stories, Celia. You're a reporter. I'll be frank with you. You have absolutely no shooting ability. You'll never be a striker. <laughs> but we can definitely put your talents to use as a defender. Basically, just put him on the pitch and not give him a chance to do anything. Just drag this guy along just because he's had a few lines of dialogue. Oh, when we, when we were in the orphanage, the other children would bully her and leave her out when they were playing. Just a, a dramatic change in moods. Sorry. <laughs> the sad music kicked in and I just had to roll with it. You noticed too? I could saw, I, I could tell when he ran. Very perceptive. Everything I have Banyan do is basic football training. I am, of course, fully aware of the extent of his capability. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're the best. You're amazing. We just got a big you up. He got very angry, saying I deliberately tried to make him look bad. He could not control his anger. And so, I thought that perhaps some solitary tasks might instill in him the discipline he was so sorely lacking. But he thinks he's being bullied. Hmm. So he finds it hard to trust people. Well, one can hardly blame him after what his mother did to him. What happened? It must be more than ten years ago now. Pamion was very young and had been living apart from his mother for most of his life. Then one day, she reappeared. And he must have been so happy to finally be with her. I, I went silent because I was kind of thinking about it. Banyan's 13 years old, so this must have happened when he was three, if it was ten years ago. But uh, yeah, his mother got off a train and he wasn't allowed to talk to her. So that's his story. Well, I'm glad we got it out of the way. <laughs> we can train the body and mind so our students can face anything, do we not, elder brother? Indeed, younger brother. But Banyan is still not ready. He has not earned the right to step on the pitch. This is the situation. I hope you can see why we do things the way we do. Well, if I were him, I'd just move to a football team that actually lets me play the bloody game. <laughs> the football you love. <laughs> Please give him another chance. I'll make sure he knows he can't lose his temper anymore. What an unusual person you are, Mark. I will say this directly to your face. I'll see how hard it is for people who want to play football but not be able to. Y you mean Steve. And the others, but Steve is the most important. If, if any of you have read my comment section, Stelios78910, with some help from Daniel Philpot, has made sure that every single episode so far has a comment about Steve. Thanks for that, guys. <laughs> I promise to give Banyan a chance to prove himself on the pitch if you do the things in the text you skipped over. He really is an intriguing young man! Anyway, they gave us a task of some variety, so let's go do it. They want us to find some weirdos making trouble in town. Oh no, so Banyan can play football? Why do we have to go to all this effort for that troublemaking so-and-so? Oh, I can still taste that rice ball. I don't think I'll ever be able to get the taste of chili out of my mouth. It's fair enough that you want the lad to get a chance to play, Mark, but... But Epsilon will be here tomorrow. Do we have time for a wild goose chase like this? We should be practicing while we still have the chance. Why are you so worried about Nathan? I'm not worried, I'm just facing up to reality. Nathan? Fine, you can go look for this mystery boy. You have until tonight. If you don't find him by then, tough luck. Everyone else, get on with practice as usual. Okay, so that is what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to look for a mystery boy. First by asking about town, and then hopefully finding the mystery boy. 
But who, genuinely, could this suspicious boy be? Maybe it's a girl. Let's go to the city, just ask random people until we find... Wait a minute! Xavier! Is that you? Hmm? Hi, Mark. Do you know him, Mark? Of course, we are friends. I didn't know you'd be in Kyoto. What are you doing here? Are you the suspicious boy? Fine, Summit. Yes, I heard it had turned up in Kyoto. But I think I'll have more fun with you lot. I heard you're looking for this mysterious boy. Can I join you? Of course, the more the merrier. But are you sure you're not the mysterious boy yourself? Because you look really pale. Hmm. How do you know we're after mystery boy? There is also that. You, he knew we were looking for a mystery boy. He's following us, but he's not actually part of the friends. He's just literally walking behind us. No, that guy just wanted to advertise the Gmart. Let's just cut to the chase. We gotta talk to Ken because he's guarding a secret. Or not. Never mind. Well, the secret might be relevant, but he's not going to let us past anyway. So, I, I guess we have to continue looking around. I shall find the correct person, which is possibly here. Yeah. That guy tells us that we need to go talk to Ken, and then Ken will willingly move out of the way. I say, what do you want? Interesting in what I'm up to, eh? Well, I'll tell you. Don't spill the beans to mother, though, will you? There's good sports. I'm lying in wait for the scoundrel who's been loitering around here lately. I'm desperate to be the one to catch him. What's that? You're finding for me? I say, I'd rather think not. You're just trying to horn in on my glory, you rotter. <laughs> what? Well, this, this, I didn't think this place had a regional accent, but suddenly this guy's just cockney as hell. You don't need to stay here any longer. You can go on home. Move along now. Oh, I'm not used to talking to French people. Yeah, I should be going home. Maybe because you're a suspicious boy. There you go, Mark. Now you can continue with your search. Uh, what did you do to him? Hypnotize him? Punch him? Make a loud crash? Someone's in there. It might be the boy we're looking for. But then, surely Ken would have noticed him, considering he's been lying in wait. No, we're gonna go here anyway. Where's he gone? Over there! Oh, damn! Do you recognize that sprite? It's Toad from Wild Junior High. No, it's not. You'll not escape me so easily, lad. Get ready to... Huh? Oh. Sean, what's the You! Janus! What are you doing here? So you're the one who's been going around bothering everyone. Janus is the mystery boy. Uh, who? Who are you people? What? Don't try and pretend you don't know who we are. I'm Mark Evans, captain of the Ryman Junior High Football Club. And you destroyed my school! R Ryman Junior High? Sounds familiar. My name is... Ah, my name... Uh, I, I can't remember. Mark, you don't think... Maybe Alias Academy punished him for losing by wiping his memory? That's bang out of order, that is. How could they do this? Using football to hurt people is bad enough, but to hurt one of your own players, one of your teammates, your friends, you won't get away with this alias academy. Oh, please, spare me. I, I, I'll admit, I wasn't exactly Janus's biggest fan, but this. Well, don't get too close. 
Look at you, Janus. You can't even remember who you are. I don't think you're in town to cause trouble. Listen, you better get out of here. Go somewhere safe. Somewhere safe. Mm. Janus. Take this. And we gave him a fuck. We gave him a freaking thought bot. Oh my god. I have to go back to Cool Kit and buy another one now. Anyway, smell you later, Janus. Pretty weird, it must be admitted. Mark, he destroyed your school. Are you just going to give him a ball and send him off? How can you forgive him for what he did? I, I don't know. I do know he's not the same Janus as before. Maybe now that he's changed, we could be friends. Football might bring us together this time instead of making us enemies. You're right, soft touch, you are. Well, if Mark thinks it's a good idea, I'm happy to go along with it. I personally think it's a brilliant idea. Because, you know, they're supercharged aliens. We don't need to get better at football anymore in order to overcome the aliens. Instead, we can just recruit the aliens and use them on my team. And I will definitely be doing this. I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. And yes, it's time for you to get back to practice. So look lively. Hey, where's Xavier? Disappeared again? We should let Cloister Divinity know. No, never mind Cloister Divinity. I want to recruit an alien for my team. Can that really be who I think it was? Now, we can have absolutely any player we like from Gemini Storm, including Coral, which I did use on my Firestorm team in the past, which is why I'm so familiar with him, but I think it's particularly fitting to go for Janus himself. I, do, I did give him a voice, after all. Now, Janus is up here, right near a treasure chest! How wonderful! Look at it, he's wearing a Ryman kit. It's so surreal. M my memory! You hold the key to my memory! You! I must play you! I must regain my memory! Now, Janus and probably some other players from other team... Well, no, I suppose Janus is probably the first example of what I would call a rare recruit. Oh my, this is a new scenario. Don't let the other team score and they're immediately going for goal. <laughs> Not doing very well here. But yeah, certain players, when you recruit them, such as Janus, they're so important that when you recruit them, they don't always appear where it's told they're going to be. Like Coach Hillman said, he was near the building of Alpine Junior High, and that's true, he was. But on my first time loading this area, he wasn't actually there. I had to keep going down the stairs to the left and going back up to refresh the area, because Janus only sometimes appears on the map, just to make the important players a little harder to get. Now, of course, Mac, that random recruit with the fantastic moves, also went through three rounds before he would actually join our team, so Janus naturally is not going to be a pushover either. In fact, he's going to be harder than Mac because this guy requires us to require to gain a two goal lead in order to actually win. We've obviously got more time than usual in order to get this done. And I, I, I could not get past Galileo either. Oh dear, I, I might not have enough TP to get this done. Mac has used his one shooting move. It's, it's over. And this guy's still got another black hole. Let's at least go for a Patriot shot in order to stand more of a chance. Yeah, he can afford another black hole. I might actually lose this, to be honest. Should probably bring out Aiden. Okay, we got one goal, so we need to get another one. I can't remember if Janus requires us to do a third match after this, but if it does, I can use healing items to get my TP back. Pretty much the only useful purpose of 
TP healing items in this game. I think it's kind of cheeky to use them in an actual match, because then you could just kind of have unlimited moves. It feels a little over the top, unnecessary to me. Don't let them score, Mark, otherwise the goal we just got would mean nothing. Please, please, he's not going to save it, is he? They're going to score. Come on. Oh no! Right. It's, it's no good. I can't remember. Second attempt. I've switched my players around so that my absolute best is in charge now. Kevin is capable of going beyond the goalkeeper's special move. I know that if I used Dragon Crash, I could have definitely been able to afford a second one in a row, but I know that Jude has enough TP to use two twin boosts. So I just want to make absolute sure the ball goes beyond the black hole, like a tsunami. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm buggered. It's all over. Come on, Kevin, get it in. Need a two-goal lead, and then possibly another win after that. But I really want Janus on my team. I just... I have a real liking for him. I know he's super cliche, but yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I like him. It's exactly, he's super cliche. And then when you're introduced to the real threat, Epsilon, he just seems like an absolute joke, which makes Janus really charming to me. So, and he's a midfielder. I don't have any of those apart from Jude. So it would be useful to have a guy like Janus in midfield, so I just want him on the team, so I've got to pull this off, alright, even though I'm deftly avoiding the guy right now. Ah, uh, no, no special move, but can I just sc score with raw skill? Probably not, but at least it wastes his TP, okay. Any shot should be able to go in now. I've got six minutes to get it to the right team member and then get it in the net. It's not going to be easy. No, Mark, stay still. Okay, catch the ball, and then I've got about four minutes to get it to the right person. Jude's a bit worryingly far back, but come on. We're doing this to, for an alien, and then we don't have to train anymore. We can just use their openness to win overall. It can't take over a minute to tackle the ball off him, right? Come on. Swain boost! I certainly hope there isn't a third match after this. Come on, just let me have him already. I'm not even trying with this commentary. I just genuinely want to win. Because the main story matches in this game, they're pretty easy for me at this point. But this is where there's a real challenge. But I have hopefully done it. Can I have Janus now? I remember. I am Janus, and I am going to kill you! I am an alien, and I will destroy schools! And the whole reason they wiped his memory was so he wouldn't cause any more destruction. But yes, we've got him! I'm gonna report to Cloyster, and then I'll see you in the next episode. A nine hour bus ride later, we're back in Cloyster. What's going on? The others look livid! Is he in trouble again? Uh, hello? Is something the matter? Well, Banyan was trying to steal your move manual! He was doing what? Indeed, how is that possible? We've, I've already used it. <laughs> if they're referring to Megaton Head, I have literally already given it to Mark. It's gone. But regardless, yeah, we, we can trust him because Okay, yeah, he was just about three years old. That that was probably quite accurate. <laughs> but yeah, his visual demonstration of him getting abandoned at a train station. Oh no. Shut up! At least you're still young enough to get a rail card, mate. Actually, no, you're too young, because it's a 16 to 25 rail card that cuts a third off. Meanwhile, I just totally talked over an actual funny thing. She slapped him with a sound effect and all. How was I supposed to know that? 
He's a real piece of work, that one. Very odd bond between Celia and Banyan, but... Oh, I see, he didn't steal Megaton Head, he stole the book which Mark learned moves like the Inazuma drop from. Okay, so he is a thief, even if he was... Oh no, he's written a note. Borrowing move manual, don't get knickers in twist, Scott. <laughs> well, that, that gets the point across. I wish you'd found that five minutes ago. We've done something bad, haven't we? Yes, indeed, we got our knickers in a twist. Actually, he did ask someone. He promised to clean the bus if I let him in. He did a great job, too. It's sparkling. He does look pretty spotless now you come to mention it. Yeah, he's just doing even more cleaning. But it's football practice, so it's fine. And, oh dear, Epsilon have arrived. Let's go confront them next time. TTFN.